So I've gotten this question a lot. What remedy can help with my brittle nails? Now, that's a good question because there's a lot of different remedies that can work, but I always like to use the nail as an indicator to look deeper inside the body. And the nail is a really good place to start because it gives you a lot of clues on what's going on in the body. But brittle nails is very similar to like um, a symptom of fatigue. There could be many different reasons for that problem. So you have several options. You can actually take a remedy to strengthen your nails, or better yet, you can try to understand what the nail is doing so you can actually fix the problem once and for all. Unfortunately, in medicine, they don't do that. Everything is based on a certain symptom and a treatment. So today, let's do this differently. Let's take a look at the nail and look at all the potential reasons why you might have, I don't know, slow growing nails or brittle nails or lines to your nails or a problem with the nail. And when I go through this, I think what's going to happen is one or two things that I talk about will become more real to you and it will pop out as a potential problem. Let's say, for example, something that's missing in your diet or maybe something that you're eating that you shouldn't be eating. So let's start out with protein. Your nail is protein. It's a very specific type of protein called keratin. And the thing that you need to know about keratin is that it's very high in sulfur, okay, and also amino acids because protein is just a combination of amino acids. So doing a deep dive and understanding kind of what's making up this specific body tissue can give you clues on what you may need to eat more of. So the two main sulfur amino acids are cysteine and methionine. And so, for example, if you're eating foods that don't have those two amino acids or are incomplete, that could be the reason why you are missing those amino acids and developing problems with your nail. And realize if you have a problem with your nails, it's not just happening with your nails, it's happening all over the place. So you could either be deficient in sulfur, okay, which by the way, the number one symptom of a sulfur deficiency is brittle nails, or it can be very specific amino acids that you're deficient in because you're eating foods that are not complete with the amino acids. Now, rather than bore you and complicate things, tell you all the foods that don't have that, I'm just going to recommend eating foods that contain plenty of all of the amino acids. That way you don't have to worry about trying to focus on just, you know, increasing very specific amino acids. You got to realize that amino acids is not just about making your, your nails, your hair, your muscle, your skin. It's about making all these other proteins involved with biochemistry, energy production, digestion, everything. Your body has millions of different enzymes and they need these amino acids. So what kind of foods can you eat to get a complete amino acid profile? Okay. Well, the best foods you can eat would be animal products, specifically things like eggs, fish, meats versus legumes or grain type proteins. With those, you're always going to be missing uh, one or two amino acids or those amino acids are going to be very, very low and you're going to have to do food combining to fix this problem. You also have the factor of the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. If you don't have enough hydrochloric acid, you can't digest these proteins to extract the amino acids from the protein. And so how do you know if you have a lack of hydrochloric acid? Well, you have indigestion, you have gas, you have bloating, heartburn. If you have intestinal inflammation, you could also have uh, a problem with amino acid absorption. Now, the other thing that's interesting about protein is that um, you may tend to um, not be satisfied when you eat unless you have sufficient amount of that balanced amino acids as your requirement. Because out of all the macronutrients like carbs, protein, and fats, proteins are probably needed as the most important survival raw material. And so in other words, um, let's say you're eating a lot of food, but you're not hitting that um, requirement for amino acids. Um, the hunger won't turn off. You'll just stay hungry. You'll never be satisfied. So this is one problem with vegans is that they'll tend to try to get their amino acids from plant type things and grains and legumes. But since they need to consume so much of those foods to get the required amount of amino acids, they end up overdoing it on the carbohydrates. Now, if you want a, a general, pretty good 
estimate of how much protein a person would need on average. Now, this is on average. It could go up, it can go down. I would do this. I would take 0.64 grams times your body weight in pounds that you weigh, and you'll get a good estimate of roughly how much protein that your body requires. You know, when you're deficient in amino acids, boy, all sorts of things will happen. Not just the um, increase in appetite without being satisfied, but you could even develop edema in your legs, uh, a swollen belly. You can be chronically fatigued. But again, I'm just emphasizing out of all the macronutrients, protein is the most important. And if you're deficient in amino acids and it's showing up in your nail, realize it's also going to be affecting your immune system, your endocrine system, your reproductive system. The next topic is trace minerals and minerals. Trace minerals act as helper called cofactors or coenzymes for proteins. So we just talked about amino acids, which are proteins. Now to activate these proteins that help you grow nails, okay, you need certain helper minerals or trace minerals, which are just kind of uh, minerals needed in smaller amounts. So the most important mineral would be sulfur. You can get it in cruciferous vegetables. You can get it in eggs. You can get it in meats and fish. You can also get it in garlic and onion. There's also a product that can help brittle nails called MSM, but I would recommend try to get it from the food. Then you have zinc, another very, very important cofactor. Where do you get zinc? Red meat, animal products, shellfish, seafood. Selenium is another one. Copper is another one. Magnesium is a factor. It's not very common, but um, it can show up in the nails if you're deficient in magnesium, and that would be more of the leafy greens. But the amount of calcium that's in the nail is very, very, very tiny. So if you have a calcium deficiency, it's probably not going to show up necessarily in brittle nails. I mean, potentially it could, but it's more likely these other elements. Silicon also. Um, a lot of people take silicon to improve their nails because silicon is involved in the formation of collagen. Now, another important um, vitamin to strengthen the nails is, is vitamin C. Now, typically you're going to get enough C if you're doing leafy greens or sauerkraut or peppers or lemons. But if you're consuming a lot of sugar, that is definitely going to block your vitamin C. Biotin is another um, B vitamin that people take in very high levels to uh, help their nails. And yes, that will work. But what you have to realize is that um, you produce just as much biotin as you get from your diet. And chances are, the real reason why you might be deficient in biotin has to do with your gut microflora more than your diet. Maybe you had an antibiotic. Maybe you have some type of gut issue. Maybe you're not eating right. Maybe you don't eat enough probiotic foods or prebiotic foods. Um, and that's why you're low in biotin. But biotin is very high in chicken liver, beef liver, eggs, salmon, and pork. And a couple other reasons why you might be deficient in biotin. You drink a good amount of alcohol. You're on some type of medication. You have low hydrochloric acid. You are uh, an athlete, okay? You exercise a lot. That can create a major deficiency in biotin. Or you're getting older, and so the requirements for biotin go up. B6 is another vitamin that is involved in the production of protein, but typically it's not going to be very common for you to have uh, brittle nails if you have a B6 deficiency. B12 is another factor that can affect the blood flow to the nail. Any type of anemia, whether it's uh, B12 or iron, can show up in the nail as a brittle nail. Choline is another, uh, they classify it as a B vitamin. If you're deficient in choline, Maybe you have a genetic factor that doesn't allow you to absorb choline like myself, and um, that puts you at risk for a fatty liver. And uh, if you want to eat foods high in choline, eat more egg yolks. Now, to keep the keratin strong, there are two fat-soluble vitamins that are also very important, vitamin A and vitamin D. Where do you get vitamin A from? I'm not talking about like spinach. That's beta carotene, which turns into vitamin A, but just a small amount. Um, you want to get your vitamin A from egg yolk, okay, fish, uh, or animal organs like liver and things like that, or even cod liver oil. And of course, vitamin D is difficult to get from the food, but cod liver oil has it. You can get it from the sun, 
and other types of fatty fish or seafood has um, some vitamin D in it. Now, I created another video on nails that's actually quite interesting that goes beyond just the brittle nail. And if you haven't seen that video, I put it up right here. Check it out.